guys, Lucas here, back with another video now. Sorry, um, I did a video yesterday, and I'm doing another one. Um, it's a little bit part of many figures. Seems with you. Um, I, I was very, uh, first of all, I was very worried I couldn't get the many figures, especially some of the personal Graves many figures. Uh, I, I was really scared and concerned not to get it because, um, maybe because uh, it's really rare. But frankly, like they sent me a box. It's the hairpiece and the face print that really disappoints me. It's really inaccurate. They just used the pop star hairpiece, which, in my opinion, is kind of lame. But it looks like it's Goblet of Fire-ish, I guess. But either way, it still doesn't help out. The resemblance of the character, um, her face print, I wish it was kind of similar to the one in the sets. But nope, it's something different, but at least it's new. So I guess it's kind of useful, but... Uh, she has uh, impressive mid legs again with different printing that goes down connecting to her robe just like with Harry. And you can also sit down again like what I said with Harry as well. She also has some similar or maybe even the same back printing from Harry, I don't know. Um, either way, that is it for Hermione Granger. Now moving on to Ron Weasley. So here is Ron Weasley and he has the Rat Scabbers which is a new mode. I love, uh, just actually it turns out it's exclusive because of the the hair printing, not really the hair printing, but the printing on this, which is pretty, actually it's pretty unique, it's not in the set, so it is exclusive, and another thing, and this is, in my opinion, it's great, because the torch printing is different, so it looks more of the prison of Azkaban, and the torch printing, like I said, I think it is the same thing, Harry, his mid legs are exactly like Harry's, and it just continues down the road, like I said, an impressive part is they used the Han Solo hair, which that's great. And now they reprint it in orange, which that's even more b better. So that's pretty cool. Also, it's, the one thing that's lacking those is the, is the is the freckles on his face print. But the rest of him is incredible. I love this minifigure. So next minifigure here is Draco Malfoy from Chamber of Secrets. It, all decked out in the Slytherin Quidditch uniform. 
from Chamber of Secrets, obviously, like I just said, if you read the books or watched the movie, yes, you would find that, but either way, he has the green broom, the golden snitch, just regular, plain, short legs, not mid-legs. He has, he has this, um, what is this, the new stock cape in a short form, or a short, a shorter version of it, and I think the back printing, well, actually, I think the torso, actually, is the same as the one in the sets for the Quidditch. Although his face print and his hair piece is new, so yeah. They do reprint the the Wittis Peak hair in, um, what is this, blonde? So yeah, it's pretty cool. Also new face print for Malfoy. So here is Luna Lovegood, and this minifigure is so lovable, get it? Because she is Luna Lovegood, you get the joke, or maybe not. Okay, no, okay forget about it um either way um she is really really awesome for the quibbler magazine which not only that new hair piece which is just incredibly useful and there is kind of like a line spacing like this so it kind of sucks but they do need it because they need to have space for the satchel bag and oh she actually has an alternate face which there it is but her front face is actually her special spec Specs. I forgot the exact name of them. I think that's what it's called. Yes, yeah, Specter Specs. Um, I think it's for um, looking at what was that called? Radspurts. And she has plain blue mid legs underneath and a skirt. So, yeah, it's a skirt. Um, the satchel bag in purple is another really useful thing. And by the way, and, um, by the way her hair piece, I think, is an extension. No, no, it's not an extension. I, I just had a feeling it was something similar, or maybe not. Maybe I'm being weird. Uh, uh, Neville? Okay, wait, what if it was weird? I was just like whispering. I was just like, it was just whispering to myself. I'm so weird. What the heck? Either way, um, here's Neville. He's pretty cool. He has a new Mandrake piece, which is a really, 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 really. Okay, just, just gotta stop. It's pretty cool, and. She's also a new top piece, which, yeah, just screw that. He also has a pod piece, which is, of course, removable, which is one per minute. He has the same mid legs as Cho Chang, which we'll take a look on further in the video. He has a pretty cool new face print that looks really light, Neville. And you can see the back face print, which she looks pretty, like, sleepy, or not really sleepy. It's very really faint, so it's very really faint. So, um, he does reuse the hair piece of the gamer from LEGO Minifigure Series 12. And they reprint that very good, so... In my opinion, this is another minifigure that is done right. So I think for the past, um, for the past five minifigures, they have done right, plus this six. Okay, I actually kind of have some problems with this minifigure. It's mainly because of the skin tone. It's pretty much it. The skin tone is inaccurate. It should be more pale, and the skirt is kind of weird. I don't like the skirt. It looks weird. But underneath, it's just like it's just plain mid legs, which plain black mid legs. So yeah, it's fine. Her owl, though, is great and useful. I think it's based off of Gala of Fire, if I'm not mistaken. She does use the spooky girl hair, which, yeah, it's rubber. don't like it, but. Um, she used the Hogwarts uniform, um, and it's in Ravenclaw form. But it's, it's the Ravenclaw one, which is super useful and exclusive. So, in my opinion, it's great. Actually... This minifigure isn't really that disappointing to me. I think it's just an okay minifigure. But still, just really with the torso, it just makes me so happy. So here's Dean Thomas, which is a minifigure that is great. It's incredible. I love the flag. It's pretty cool. It says Gryffindor on it. His hairpiece is an, inc it's an incredible reprint. Actually, not really a reprint. You use the mini the one from the Gladiator and Lego minifigure series 17. Um, which is pretty cool because, it's anyway, it's rare. So, yeah, that's fine. His face print is really, really good, very accurate, and you can see he has the same wands, I think, as, I think he has the same wands as Harry. He has the mid legs again, which instead has, like, the scarf printed down to it, and the robes connected to it. I do wish this scarf was a Lego Ninjago movie scarf, which, that would be more useful. Um, he also has some back printing as well, which, this time, in, in, but this time you got the scarf kind of wrapped around there, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, Dean Thomas isn't really that much of a prominent character or barely even seen in any of the scenes in Harry Potter. So, yeah, in my opinion, it's just 
still up. I should just regret the figure. Sorry if I get the order mixed up, but I'm trying my best to remember it. Uh, sorry, because I don't have the checklist or anything. I don't even have the box. I don't even know where to place the box. I don't have it. I wasn't able to save the checklist. I don't know where my cousin did with it. I don't know with him. He does a bunch of stuff with it. But either way, he has a Triwizard Porky, I believe that's what it's called. And it isn't a new mode. It was, I think it was also used in the 2011 Harry Potter's Quidditch set, which is pretty cool. But it's a nice reprint. Um, he has the same wands as Ron, and you can see he is pretty accurate. Um, he has some pretty accurate printing on there. His face mount really looks like Cedric, also the hairpiece. It's really nice and useful. And he also has some side leg printing, which is also useful. And you can see it has Diggory in the back. I'm so glad they finally made Cedric Diggory in Lego form. I am 100% going to make this mixed up because I am an idiot. Where is his hair? I need hair. Where is Okay, so either way, here is Mad Eye Moody. Um, sorry guys if I took a little bit while well, I actually took a minute just on finding my Dive Moody. Sorry, um, it was really bad editing. I might cut that out, but either way, sorry. I'm super sorry guys for the holdup. Um, but either way, my Dive Moody is pretty cool. Um, he has the Polyjuice Potion, which is kind of a spoiler if you guys didn't see Goblet of Fire. He has like a metal leg or whatever, and he also has a stick. And he also has a uh, alternate face print. Actually, his face print is pretty cool, actually. And he has an alternate face print, which is actually Body Crutch Jr., which you can just flip it around like that. And then he also has, a, like, a wand right here, which is another pretty cool thing. Uh, either way, that is it for Maddie Moody. Again, guys, I'm so sorry. I can't do it. I, I was able to do the cut, actually. I, I can edit the cut now, actually. I'll probably do the cut now, but either way. I'm so sorry for the dumb Mad Eye Moody thing. I, it just took forever. And it was plus I was watching TV, so sorry about that. Anyway, here's Trelawney, which this minifigure is another incredible one. I do like the cup part, which is really cool. also love the cup and saucer printing, which is pretty cool. Her torso and um, her dress piece is pretty cool. You can actually feel the printing on here if you like touch it. It's pretty cool, and it just connects like that. Her hair piece is kind of goofy, but pretty useful i like that also her face print too is pretty cool but there's no back printing on the minifigure or side arm or the side dress printing i guess you could say but either way that is it for trelawney professor sybil trelawney okay here's Phileas Flitwick, which this minifigure is so 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 incredible i really love the new bullhorn piece which is pretty useful also his wands is well i mean everybody has a wand i think and his hairpiece is another really useful thing. His face prints another useful thing. His boat has another useful thing. Everything is pretty cool. I do wish he did have back torso printing, which is kind of a disappointment to me. But he does have some front torso printing too, which is also pretty generic. Well, not really that generic, but yeah, it's kind of generic in my in my tastes. But he, he reuses. Oh, he doesn't really use that hairpiece. Yeah, this is a new hairpiece. Um, I don't know. I really. I don't know, it's just so specific to him. I just keep on complaining about that, but it's kind of specific to him in a good way. But either way, that is it for Flitwick. I totally forgot to do Dobby. But either way, here is the cute and adorable, so freaking cute Dobby. He has the incredible new book, which I really like it. It is actually, um, what's this? Tom Riddle's Diary with the sock inside, which you can just simply take off like that. He just takes off from the stud. You can just put the studs in there and then close it up. The book printing as well. I think it's similar. To, I think it's the same as the suitcase piece. And his um, his head piece is also new. Also, his torso printing is also pretty incredible. His legs are dual molded. With um, it's half half, so it's not really. I've never seen it a lot, but I think his eyes. I think his eye color changed from the original one. I don't know, but either way, that is it for Dobby now. Moving on to the last Harry Potter minifigure, I think. Actually, this is second to the last Harry Potter minifigure, which is Harry Potter and the Invisibility Cloak. This minifigure is pretty cool. Um, I really love the Invisibility Cloak. He looks adorable under it. You can see that 
He has some pretty cool pajamas, and he actually has some pretty cool symmetrical printing under the invisibility cloak. His pajamas are pretty cool and useful. I really love it. I didn't. I wish this minifigure wasn't rare. I wish it was common because the pajamas are so useful. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. He also has some cool printed legs. They're so cute. It's Kid Harry from straight from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It's race print as well. Actually, yeah, it's pretty, 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 pretty cool. I really like the face print. Um, also, his hair piece is the same from the sets, which is another cool addition to get. Either way, it's it's nice to get it because anyway, it's accurate, so that's good. Either way, that is it for Harry Potter. So here's the last Harry Potter minifigure, which is Albus Dumbledore. This minifigure is based off, I think, from Goblet of Fire all the way up to Order of the Phoenix. Actually, no, Deathly Hallows. Uh, this minifigure, I mean, I guess you could, could consider the, the back, the, the flashback thing. This minifigure is pretty cool. I love the pensive or pensive, or it's pretty cool, and you can see, like, the printing on it. It's just reusing the plate mold. And you can see his robes. Actually, it's pretty cool, and... Here's this face print with the beard, uh, with the, the hair hat gone, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I have no words. It's pretty cool, and, and it's incredible. And also the, the beard, I believe it's new. I think it's similar to Vitruvius's, but I think it's a separate piece. This face print is different, and you could kind of see under torso print like there, but there is no back printing on, on any of these, like, dressed minifigures, I guess you could say. And you can see has the same one as a lot of the minifigures in the series. Actually, no, not really a lot of the minifigures in the series, but a similar one to Percival and Hermione. Okay, so now we are moving on to the Fantastic Beast characters, and Newt is the first. He is really incredible. He does have the new um, Niffler, which is also included in the sets. The best part of him, I think, is the suitcase, which is incredibly useful. You use that book top mold, which they use it and then they have this new bar mold where you can store stuff which you can also see with Jacob because you can store stuff in his and he has an orange one which is another really useful thing his torso and legs are newly printed they're actually these are updates of the old ones his first one is also updated although wish, I do wish his hairpiece was updated like a new mold because I don't really think it still fits Eddie, Eddie Redmayne but also there's also a picket added on the torso and you can see like the lockets of the suitcase, which is in gold, and I don't think they molded that, I think they just printed it. So either way, that is it for Newt Scamander. So here is Tina Goldstein, and she has some hot, she has a hot dog with chance. It's pretty cool, it's really good. Uh, it's from, I think, she she's also updated with now blue, instead of gray. And she has dual molded legs, she has pretty nice face print which is double-sided, so you can see the second one right here, which is her pretty happy. And you can see her, she looks pretty stern right here. And her hot, and I think this is like an overcoat for all her other coats that she is wearing. And um, yeah, either way, that I think that is really it for Tina. Oh yeah, one more thing that the the hat, the hair hat combo isn't, isn't, isn't new. It's actually using the dimensions for Tina Goldstein. Either way, that is it for Tina. So next up is Jacob Kowalski, which is another pretty awesome minifigure. He uses the same suitcase as Newt, which he does have some two cookies inside. Which, yeah, it's pretty, yeah you can kind of see the printing right there. I don't really want to hassle about it. But either way, his torso, really, the torso is pretty cool. It looks kind of fat. Okay, no offense. No offense, Jacob, but... You look kind of fat, but there's no back torso printing, which is kind of disappointing. But his face print is new. His hair piece is reused from the Brick Boy and also reused in the sets, in the suitcase set. And you can see the suitcase right here. So we're almost up to the end, and Queenie is um, third to the last. So she has a really nice new strudel mode, which is pretty cool. Um, her torso and legs are pretty cool addition as well it's incredible like just take an in-depth look at that like it is incredible look at the printing it's dual molding so see all that stuff from the heels just so detailed and also her face print is pretty cute and adorable just like queenie herself okay so here is credence and 
Many people really don't like him, and in my opinion, he is another kind of a disappointing one. I don't know, I don't really like that much. His face print isn't accurate. You can see the alternate face right here. And he has a lack of some printing, although his accessory is pretty nice. But either way, I don't know, I don't really care about that much for Koreans. Like, they could have done, like, someone from, like, the comes to Grindelwald, because that's really why they made the series, like, he's his commander, they could have done that, but it, nope, it just went with Credence, but either way, that is it for Credence. Here is Price Over Grace, and many people don't like him, but in my opinion, he's really incredible, actually, I really love the printing on his torso and legs, he's just so detailed, he has some pretty nice side arm printing, some back torso printing, his hair printing, and his face print is, really looks a lot like Colin Farrell. And time for the big reveal. For those who haven't seen Fantastic Beasts, this is probably going to be spoiler to you, but it's one in the back and just come with the alternate hairpiece for him. And either way, that is it for all the minifigures of the series. Now let's um, take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. So I actually have like a packaging minifigure here for a minifigure packet and... You can see it's kind of like this navy blue. I actually just realized I had the checklist the entire time. Because I thought I remember throwing them all, but. So, yeah, either way, here's the checklist. It smells so bad. That's why I threw it. It's stink. Um, so, either way, that is it for all this. This many. So, time for the rating. Uh, this is just an incredible minifigure series. I mean, these minifigures are awesome. Not some of them I may not like. Some of them I'm actually just going to be fixing while I am telling you. So, some of them are really useful. Some of them may not. Some of them are actually have a really useful have really useful parts, and it's really good. Um, that's really good. So yeah. Um, so overall, I would actually really recommend this minifigure series. It's actually four bucks per per pack, but four fifty at some targets. So either way, that is it for today's video. So hope you guys check out some of my other blind bag videos. I actually have uh, Harry Potter opening as well, and maybe I might do another video later about maybe a Lego Movie box opening or. I'll probably save that tomorrow, but either way, that is it. So, see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.